mind if I go see some kitties today? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pet some kitties with extra thumbs like like your thumbs. Is that okay? I'll make it up to you, buddy, okay? Alright. Alright, and then here's where I'm parking for, uh, just for a couple hours. As I said, I'll, I'll be going over to uh, Fort Zachary and boondocking and some other key later today. And here we go with more chickens in Key West. About to cross the road there, aren't you, buddy? Yeah? Oh, I found one of the oldest establishments in Key West. Classic Denny's Diner. That was a joke, guys. A joke. I'll go ahead and build the own slam. Uh, I'll just do a scrambled bacon hash browns and uh, how about a biscuit? Scrambled bacon hash brown biscuit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here you go. You get your biscuit, okay? Just need some silverware too. Yes. Thank you. Do you have like a wet thing? Yes. I have washed it. <laughs> and I was like, that's the guy. We just, I just got, me and my boyfriend got an RV and we're actually having a lot of difficulties. So I've been watching a lot of like, oh, just like looking up like what to do with RV stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's everything, the RV Everything's guys. been going really well since Jacksonville. I haven't had yeah. any issues. So yeah, Key West yeah. made it. Yeah. One corner of the other corner for me, yeah. up Northwest. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. Beautiful yeah. place here. My, I do a lot of national park jobs. Mm -hmm. and a lot of times I'll give you sites. Arizona in the summer though, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like Powell, like Glen like oh. Canyon. And they have okay, here we are inside the Hemingway house here in Key West. Bought my ticket. I guess there's a little bit of a, uh, a guided tour first and then we can kind of walk around. I'm really anxious to see all these polydactyl cats. I don't see any yet. The house of Ernest Hemingway. Sorry guys, I'm gonna point out every cat I see. Here is the first kitty cat I found. Hi, Mrouser. What, meow? Are you meowing? <laughs> you have toes, kitty? You don't have the toes. You guys got the life, man. Oh, man. One thing about the cats, the, all 50 to 60 cats that are here, they all carry the polydactyl gene. That doesn't mean they all have the extra thumbs, but they can father or mother to a litter that will have them. So they all have it in their gene. I guess Ernest Hemingway just really liked polydactyl cats. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That's not a polydactyl kitty. Hi there, kitty. How about you? You got extra thumbs? No, you don't have extra thumbs either. Oh. Yep, get your stretch on, buddy. You have really cool coloring over there, dude. I like that. Hi, kitties. You have thumbs, too. Can you show off your thumbs? Buddy. Nice thumbs. <laughs> you chilling? That's a monorail cat right there. He looks like he's a monorail. <laughs> Sleepy what? kitties. Sleepy kitties. Everybody's sleeping. Tigger, Adriana, Kim, Willard, Pandora. Oh man. I want to be a cat in a second life and live right here. That's cool. This is the wedding area here at the Hemingway house. Anybody ever been married here? Hey, there's a kitty down there. Hi, kitty, kitty. Okay, you go ahead and sleep then. All right, let's go inside, take a look at the uh, house and museum. You know, in the ancient time, cats were worshipped. Yep. And they have not forgotten that. <laughs> like your toes. Kitchen area. That old stove over there.
Lots of books. Lots and lots of books. I like how the cats can just come and go as they want. All right, well. I think everybody already knows who Ernest Hemingway is, so if you don't, Google it, find out. Pretty cool house, though. Wow, what big thumbs you have there, buddy. Hey, can we see your thumbs? You wanna flop? Oh, you're not Jax, you're not gonna flop, but you have, you have big thumbs. See, we can see your thumbs. I love cats with thumbs, buddy. I love kitties with thumbs. <laughs> Bye kitty kitty. Bye kitty kitty. Alright guys, back in the RV. Gonna head over to Fort Zachary State Park and hang out a little bit, let Jack stretch his paws, play on the beach, and, and then before the sun sets, probably uh, head out of Key West and do some boondocking somewhere. We'll see. I think we're gonna go up here to the Sunset Parking area. Uh, there's an RV up there. We're in the right spot. Oh wow. You can see how popular this place is in the daytime. A lot of RVs have the same idea. I would park over in the shade, except I'd like to gather some, some solar, you know. I can keep the screen open and the uh, fan on. I won't have to run the generator for the air conditioning. We'll go look around the park a little bit. There's a primo spot there with the hut and the shade. I think this is gonna be my palm tree. Yeah. Yeah, I may just bring out my chair, sit right here under the palm tree with this view. Look at this view. Oh, yeah. And in case you're wondering, it's too windy to fly the drone here at the beach. Which is kind of funny because something about the beach and the water, I always want to fly the drone to get the best shots. And that's the only time when I can't use the drone because the wind will make me lose control, I'll lose the GoPro and the copter out to sea. Oh well, you know. I'm going to miss Key West more than you will ever understand. I will really, really miss this place. You know, over the summer when I'm back up in the Northwest or wherever I end up, I'm going to re-watch some of these Key West videos in the summertime and be like, man, I didn't know how awesome it was there. 
Ah, big old dust storm over there at my RV. Ah, that's how windy it is. <laughs> I know I can't please everybody out there with my videos. That's why I don't even try, but, but I get over here a little less wind, but I do try to show a little bit of everything that goes on with living in the RV on the road all the time. Cause you know, it's different when you're by yourself and you're traveling all over the place and stuff happens. So that's why I share a little bit of every little piece, not just touristy stuff, but problems, issues, how I deal with them, how I react with them. More importantly, you know, it's all about your attitude about how you react to stuff. So it doesn't ruin the rest of your day. Cause yeah. All right. Have a great day. See you in a couple days. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant right here, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.